Hello, my scrappy friends. It is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters, and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kids Design Team layout. Now, for this layout, I started with the super moody, kind of grey, watercolor esque paper for the background, and I created these two super cute cut files um, that really matched with my photos. My boys were dressing up, and Thomas is dressed up as a little dragon, so I definitely um, created a little dragon cut file and I matted the dragon just using some more of the scraps from the matte piece of paper, the paper that's the B side of like the front page of the collection that was just full of those um, four by four squares of color um, that were used for matting photos and that's I've used those colors to um, back my cut files. I then grabbed that beautiful floral frame from the Pink Fresh collection and just a couple of the little flowers out of the flower pack of ephemera. Just two really simple flowers. I don't want this to be too florally or too over the top, just super simple. Um, but just to add a little bit of ephemera onto the page, there's a little bit then that I cut that hadn't, um, come from the machine quite correctly. So I just cut that off. And then this super cute best day ever from that, uh, pink fresh again as well. And then just finishing this little cluster off with a little chipboard piece. Um, love this. That's just sums up how I feel about this whole section of these photos and this layout. Then I'm going to, I'm not going to flip everything because that would be a bit weird to look in your scrapbook page, but I am going to flip my next cut file, which is an astronaut, and he's going to sort of be hanging upside down. I was tempted to do all the rest of the layout upside down, so it's kind of like one of those which way's up kind of layouts, but I thought in an album that wouldn't really work. You're not going to turn your entire album upside down to look at this page. So I'm going to keep the astronaut himself upside down, but the rest I'm going to, to do normal ways up. I created that super cute sparkly paper that I, you'll see better in the close-up videos. It is just um, some steckles that we got from a, um, a kit many, 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 many months ago in 2013, uh, 2013, 2023. Um, I don't think it's older than that, but it quite possibly could be. I've been around for a long time with Kidaholic Skits, um, but it's just like a, a Steckles paste. It's not the ones that are, that you squeeze out like a nouveau drop. It's like a, in a jar. Um, and I just used a palette knife to spread it onto a piece of white cardstock, left it to dry, and then used that to back the cut file where I wanted a little bit of silver or sparkle to come through, just like in the photos and the costume that Jack is wearing. I was tempted to cut the um, hole out for where Jack's face would be in the helmet, but I quite liked the look of this kind of dusty brown, dirty brown, dirty orange. I'm not sure what color you'd say it is, but I quite like the look of it. It's almost like a coffee color, I guess. Uh, so I decided to just leave that. I was tempted to put vellum in there, but in the end, I just kept it simple, which I think is really cute. Then I pulled out these thickers from my stash. I have never used these thickers. They're super, super cute, but I found them really hard to use. But I just thought it worked with this layout. There were so many colors and everything happening in the layout anyway that I thought this would be okay. And I really quite like it. Uh, I knew I wanted my title to be Dress Up Fun, but I'd initially thought it would be sort of like one sentence, like one phrase, dress up fun. Uh, and I just couldn't make that work with the placement. I didn't like the idea of having dress up and then fun off to the side. So in the end, I just put some punctuation in. I think that makes all the difference. It's now like dress up fun. And I think by having them separated that that totally works. And I was really happy with how that ended up looking. So that is going to be the title that I keep. Um, and then I'm going to put on some splatters and this layout will be complete. So I'm just pressing it down now that I don't need to rearrange it or move it anywhere. Uh, and then I am going to use some golden splatters. I'm going to pop those on right now.
In fact, have I started with gold? Yes, I have started with gold. I got a bit worried for a moment there. I thought I might have used a different color, but no, I've got my gold and splatters happening. Um, and of course, there will be some close-up photos so you can see a little bit better all those elements that I was talking about with the sparkly paper and all of that kind of thing. Um, I did also put on a few little black splatters as well. And then this is the layout. And I was just really happy with all the colors that came together and it's a little bit crazy but I think it's super cute and I was really happy with the way it turned out. So I thank you again for watching and I cannot wait to share another layout with you next week for Kidaholics Kids. Um, have a really happy scrappy week everyone. Bye. Bye.